once a day on Time Machine. And now, here's John Davidson. Happy Friday. If you've been watching all week long, we've had a great first week. If you've enjoyed the show every day, tell you what, after the show is over today, pick up a phone, call your station. This station is on. Say, boy, that time machine is so much fun. It's a fun show. <laughs> and you know that host is really cute. He's really... And when he goes in and asks for more money, give it to him, right? So make that call right after the show. It's going to be a great show today. Not only is it Friday, but we're, as every day we do, we're going to take a journey through the times of your life and see how much you remember about the people and the events that touched us all. Our players will be competing for fabulous prizes here in the studio, and all of them will have a chance at a jackpot. Today, it is worth $20,000. More than $20,000. You had a quick look at our three players for today. Right now, let's meet our first contestant. John, meet Maxine Sonnenberg from Beverly Hills. Hi, Maxine. Welcome to Sonnenberg. Nice to meet you, guys. Do you have a nice smile? Do you have a nice smile? Well, thank you. Thank you. What do you, you? What do you do, Maxine? Are, uh, they told me that you are now an attorney. Correct. But you went back to law school after being a housewife? No, after being a journalist for a number of years. Oh, I see. <laughs> but your children have grown. My children have grown, and I got tired of writing down other people's ideas and thought it was time to become a lawyer and have a few ideas of my own. Isn't that great? Oh, let's hear it from Max here. I hope you make lots of money. I know we're going to have fun today. Our first game is called Three in a Row. Maxine, come right over here. All right. Three in a Row is one of my favorite games. You know, we have many games all about time on Time Machine. 61 through 69. That refers to 1961 through 1969. You line up three in a row or up and down, and this prize will go into your prize bank. It's a home fitness system. The Vitamaster Pro 1000 electronic fitness system. Measures pulse rate, workload, distance, speed, time, and counts calories, too, all with the push of one button. Furnished by Vitamaster. Valued at $650. All right, now, that's a nice prize. But if you can get three in a row diagonally, this prize goes into your prize bank. It's a motorcycle. Oh, my God. This exciting motorcycle. Take to the road on this beautiful street bike designed for good handling. Furnished by Foothill Yamaha Kawasaki and valued at over $2,800. He's been dying for one of those. That's perfect. I can just see you on that motorcycle going down the street yourself. All right, now remember, you're looking for the diagonal because that will get you the big prize, right? All right, it sounds easy. We're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to give you these three poison cards. You go up and put them on the board in any three squares in a row. Now, if those three are your first three in a row that you choose, then you lose. So you're going to put them 61, 64, 67. All right, let's start playing. Here are your nine events from the years 61 through 69. The Valley of the Dolls is a best-selling novel. Sprite Soft Drink appears on the market. Days of Our Lives premieres on television. Rolling Stone magazine starts publishing. Weight Watchers is founded. The G.I. Joe doll is introduced. Julie Nixon weds David Eisenhower. Johnny Carson starts hosting The Tonight Show. John Wayne wins his only Oscar for True Grit. Now, Maxine, each event is from a different year. You give me the event, I'll give you the year. Good luck. Let's get started. All right, let's start with G.I. Joe was introduced. G.I. Joe was introduced. Every kid had to have one. That happened in 1964. All right, if you have one poison card, you're okay. Just don't get three in a row. Your next event. Pick an event from the 60s. Uh, let's go with Johnny Carson. A lot of ladies would like to go with Johnny Carson. <laughs> Interesting thing, a lot have. That's true, too. <laughs> Johnny Carson began hosting The Tonight Show in 1962. Gee, think how long that's been. All right, he's had such a successful run. Your next event, you're doing fine. Um, Rolling Stone. The Rolling Stone magazine started publishing in 19... 67. Ooh. All right. Now, be a little bit careful. If you get 61, then you got three in a row of poison. So, uh, pick an event. Try to go later in the 60s Something if you can. Something that couldn't have happened in 61. Yeah. What have you got? 
Well, uh, I don't think Julie Nixon married David Eisenhower that early. All right. So you don't want to pick that? Sure. Are you saying you do want to pick oh, that? Oh, you want to pick All that? All right. Julie Nixon later. married David Eisenhower in 1968. All right. Going across the bottom now. Keep going. Remember the diagonal would give you the, uh, the grand prize, the motorcycle. So you want to go for 65 if you can. Go uh, ahead. Let's try Valley of the Dolls. Let's try Valley of the Dolls. It, the best-selling novel came out in 1966. Oh, dear. You're on the All right track. The You're still alive. Mm. Your first three in a row stops the game. Pick an event. Go for something at 65 if you can. What do you recommend? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't recommend, but I'm more nervous than you are. I, Maxine, I want you to get this. Well, uh... Go right ahead. Your next event. John Wayne. John Wayne wins his only Oscar for True Grit in what year? 69. That's fine. You've got that home fitness center. You're going to be in shape, Maxine. That goes into your prize bank. We'll be back. We'll be back for Time Capsule later in the show to compete with the other two players. You'll all be going for a jackpot worth more than $20,000. We'll be right back. That's a good point. Machine and John Davidson. Welcome back to Time Machine. Time marches on. Our next game is called As Time Goes By. But first, let's meet our next player. Charlie? John, meet Natalie McCray from Marina Del Rey. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Welcome. Hi. What do you do? I'm a financial manager. Oh, like a business manager? Yes. I oh. tell people what to do with their money. <laughs> oh, good. If then if I had $1,000 to invest, you would tell me how to invest it? Preferably real estate. You would yeah. say real estate? Yes, it's safe. Good. Everybody, that's a hot tip. You heard it here on Time Machine. I have a business manager I hired to tell me how to live on my income. And he's living very well on my income. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. We're about to play as time goes by, Natalie. And this is one of my favorite games. I say that so often, but this is a great game. Look around. You see the clock behind you? Mm -hmm. That hand, we're going to start spinning. All you have to do is to stop it in the 12 zone, only without looking. For example, if I turn around like this and push this button and stop it, well, I didn't do very well. Hopefully, it's, it's not easy. But if you can stop it in that 12 zone, here's the prize that could go into your prize bank. It's a beautiful fur coat. Elegant yet sporty, featuring V design with band neckline from Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. And to keep it looking beautiful, a fur vault. Viking Leisure's fur vault. Interior temperatures between 53 and 57 degrees help to maintain quality and prolong the life of furs and fine woolens. Furnished by Viking Leisure Products. This total prize package is worth $4,400. Very lucky for you. Do you look nice in so far? I don't want to say any more about it. Let's wait till we win it. Now. Okay. We're going to give you one free spin on the clock. We'll put that right up there on the uh, free spin, on the, on the keeping track of your spins. Here's how you can win up to three more spins at the clock. If you look at these pictures over here of Frank Sinatra, I'll give that to you for free. That's who it is. <laughs> Each of these portraits is from a different year. Your job is to guess when the photo was taken within five years. Which one do you want to start with? I'll start with number two, please. Number two. Natalie, within five years, when was that picture taken? I'd say about 1979. Oh, let's hope you're right. You're saying 1979. It was taken in 1981. You're fine. You now have two spins at the clock. And believe me, you're going to need a lot of them because it ain't easy. Okay. Your next uh, picture? I'm going to go with the worst one, I think. Number three. Number three. Yeah. <laughs> that is a funny picture of him. All right. Uh, within five years, when was that photo taken? I'd say 1942. Good guess. Ooh, boy. All right. Yeah. You're saying 42. The 42. answer is... 46. <laughs> You're fine. You now have three chances at the clock. Your last pick, of course, is number one. Within five years, when was that taken? 1967. Gee, how did you say that so quickly? You're guessing 67. Within five years, the answer is... 57. Oh, maybe said a little bit too quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You have three chances at the clock. You're doing just fine. Now, let's start the clock. You can look at it. Get a chance to guess the tempo of the clock there. All right? All right. I'm going to turn you around. When you think it's in the 12 zone, you hit that buzzer. Oh, look 
run. It's on the seven. All right, let's start it again. You have two more chances going towards that fur ball. Get a, look, get a chance to look at how what the speed of the clock is. I'll turn you around. When you think it's there, hit it. Oh, oh. 11. Well, your last Five chance one. for that fur vault and the fur a prize worth $4,400. Get a feeling of the wheel. Turn around and I'll wait. I hit the buzzer. And after we're all set here, now. Oh. They're on oh, the well. three. All right, that's all right. <laughs> you played the game very, very well. And you know more about Frank Sinatra because of this game. You'll be back to compete in Time Capsule. And all of our players will get a chance at our jackpot worth more than $20,000. You're a good player, Natalie. We'll be right back after this. Gene and your host, John Davidson. Welcome back to Time Machine. This is Cutler Gray. This is the Tube Game. Please welcome our next contestant to play Tube Game. John, he's our returning champion, Scott Nero from nice. Tarupa Lake. Nice to see you back again. Did, you, uh, did all your friends say they saw you on the show yesterday? Everybody. And, uh, I'm sure they did. You've got lots of postcards and letters since then, yeah. too. You're a private investigator. We found that out yesterday. You do lie detector tests, polygrams, and all that stuff? Yes, I, I, I administer polygraph tests. I'm a, polygraph? I'm, right. I'm a certified polygraph examiner. A certified polygraph examiner. Right. It, it, what is, and that entitles you to give that test to people. Right. I administer the test itself. Does it work? Is sure that it a, does. You can always tell when somebody's lying or not? Most of the time. 3% of the time, we won't be able to tell. Well, there's 3%. It's a definite or inconclusive opinion. Boy, that'd be fun to do some of that. All right, we can tell whether you're lying or not on this show because we're going to play the tube game. Were you watching television in 1958? Barely. Okay. <laughs> you were just a little kid, maybe. All right, we're going to see how much you know. Depending on how well you can answer these questions about what was on television in 58, this prize could go into your prize bank. It's a hot air ballooning trip. We'll fly you and a friend up north to while away three days in the Napa Valley wine country, where you'll go aloft in a colorful hot air balloon for a bird's eye view of the vineyards from Wine Adventures. Then capture all the country colors with his automatic 35 millimeter camera with lens. Features include built-in winder and backlight compensation from Sammy's camera. Total value of this prize package is over $2,500. Are you ever in a balloon? Yeah, yeah. I did that once. It was very exciting. All right. That prize is behind one of these three. If you can see our three networks over here, I'll turn you around this way. It's kind of fun turning you back and forth. <laughs> you know, these three networks, that prize is behind one of those. If you capture the right networks, it is yours. All right? Remember, the year is 1958. Let's start with ABC. I'll turn you back this way now. On ABC in 1958, which one of these two shows could you have seen? The Twilight Zone, hosted by Rod Serling, or The Donna Reed Show, starring, of course, Donna Reed and Carl Betts. Only one was on the air. Which one would you have seen in 58 on ABC? Twilight Zone. You're saying Twilight Zone, is he right? No, it was The Donna Reed Show. That's all right. You don't have ABC. Let's move on to NBC, all right? Which one of these two NBC shows could you have seen on television in 1958? Was it My Little Margie, starring Gail Storm, or Dragnet, the facts, man, just the facts? Jack Webb, which of those two shows in 58? Only one. My Little Margie. My Little Margie, you're saying, is he right? No, it's Dragnet. This could get tough now, but you could still get CBS and still get that clue. All right. On CBS in uh, 1958, which one of these two shows was on the air, Make Room for Daddy, with Danny Thomas, or was it Petticoat Junction, starring B. Ben Benaderet? Benaderet? Benaderet, yes. Petticoat Junction or Make Room for Daddy? Which one? Only one was on the air, Scott. Make Room for Daddy. You're saying Make Room for Daddy. Is he right? Yeah! Petticoat Junction didn't start until 1963. All right, let's look back here again. Then you have CBS. All right. If that prize is behind CBS, you, the, which you've already captured, it will go into your prize bank and you'll go for a balloon ride, all right? Is it behind CBS? Oh, no, Scott, that's all right. Where was it, just out of curiosity, which network was it behind? Behind ABC. You won't go hot air ballooning this time, but you will come back for time capsule as we meet with our other two players for a chance to win that jackpot with more than $20,000. We'll be right back after this. It all happens right away.
John Machine and John Davidson. We are back. It's that moment we've all been waiting for, including our three contestants, because they're together for the very first time for Time Capsule, where you'll be competing for a jackpot of prizes. Our jackpot is building every day. Take a look at it now. First, the sensational jukebox. A reconditioned Rockola juke from 1976. A flashy, high-tech design houses 100 selections of your favorite hits. Furnished by Jukeboxes Unlimited Los Angeles. Plus a fabulous collection of your favorite golden oldies. You may choose them with your gift certificate from Rockaway Records. Plus these two exciting motor scooters. A beautiful home spa. And the ultimate water toy, a jet ski. And a new car. Pontiac's Fiero, a two-seat mid-engine four-cylinder production car. Enduraflex body panels resist kings and are designed not to rust. Exciting and fun furnished by Pontiac. Total value of our jackpot, over $20,000. Oh. Good luck, everybody. In this envelope, I have a year. I'm going to give you clues to this year. Then later, each of you will try to guess the year. Whoever's closest wins and gets what's ever in his or her prize bank. Plus... $1,000 in cash. If the winner hits the year exactly, I mean on the nose, he or she will get one chance at our fabulous jackpot, jackpot worth more than $20,000. All right, there's a lot at stake here, players. Listen carefully. Here is your first clue. Funny Girl, starring Barbara Streisand and Omar Sharif, appeared that year. Clue number two. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In premiered on NBC that year give you more of a feeling, more of a portrait of this year. Clue number three, the Nehru jacket was the fashion rage for men that year. Clue number four, the record-a-call machine first appeared in this year. <laughs> what a funny looking thing it was. <laughs> but it would record messages and then people would say funny things and leave you jokes on your machine. And finally, listen to this last clue. One of the hit songs of that year was... Simon and Garfunkel, Cuckoo Cuckoo, Mrs. Robinson. That was one of the lyrics. Okay, that's a portrait of that year. We've given you as many clues as we can. I hope one of you has an answer. You haven't. We're cheering you on. All right. If you hit the year on the nose, you'll have a chance at that fabulous jackpot of prizes. And give us your answer. Punch them in right now. All right, time is up. Your answers are locked in. Maxine, what did you say? 1968. 68. Natalie, what did you say? I said 1962. 62. Big difference there. Scott, what was your guess? 1967. 67. All right, very interesting. The year really is... 1968. Maxine has hit it on the nose. That means... Congratulations. <laughs> That means that prize uh, goes into your prize bank of the Home Fitness Center, yes, and plus $1,000 in cash, and uh, plus you have a chance with a fabulous jackpot. I can't even talk straight. Do you, you realize what she's going for? $20,000 worth of prizes. Right after we come back, Natalie and Scott, thank you for being wonderful players. Natalie, you have parting gifts. Scott, you walk away with some money from us. Uh, yesterday you got the stereo and $300. Thank you for being good players. Maxine, right after this, you'll get a chance at $20,000. You're not going to leave now. Come right back. All right, Maxine, this could be the moment. Here it is. One of these events took place in 1968. I'm going to give you four headlines. If you can tell me which one was in 68, $20,000 in prizes is yours. The Supremes released their first album. Event number one. Number two. Jackie Kennedy marries Aristotle Onassis. Number three, the soap opera All My Children debuts. Number four, Cary Grant makes his last movie. The Supremes release their first album. Jackie Kennedy arrives, uh, marries Aristotle Onassis. The soap opera All My Children debuts and Cary Grant makes his last movie. Which event took place in 68? I'll go with the marriage of Jackie Onassis. You've won 25. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, look at that. How did you do that? 
We return you to 1985. We're going to make the most of today, and next time, come back and watch Time Machine on Monday. We'll see you next time. Maxine, come look at what you won. Oh! Some numbers of our $100,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs. Take the Sale of the Century Challenge next. Then enjoy a spin with the Wheel of Fortune, followed by Scrabble and Super Password. Time Machine is a Rex Grundy production. Has one cat.